fortune teller are undefeated, but they haven't seen this next magician yet. Let's meet him. My name is Christian Englum and I come from Finland. And I've been doing magic ever since I was three and a half years old. I wasted my first three and a half years of my life. I became known for a card move that I invented. It's called the anti-pharaoh, where you spring cards from hand to hand, and they separate one by one. And it became a legend. The effect that I'm going to be performing today, I have been tinkering on for the past 21 years. I couldn't think of a better way to do my first performance in Vegas than on Penn & Teller's Fullest. Guys, watch out. The big finish is coming. With two randomly selected members of our audience, please welcome Finnish magician Christian Engblom. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you, wonderful assistants. Your name is? Stacy. Stacy. I'm Christian and Walter. Walter, wonderful. Thank you for joining up here. Now, I do magic and card magic at that most of the time, but I think that magic is very much like a mirage. It has that element of being almost impossible and yet unattainable. Let me show you what I mean. Stacy, I'll ask you to pull out a card. You can choose a card, whichever one you like, and the same thing here, Walter. Please, just take one card out, and on the very face of the cards, I'd like for you to sign your names as big as possible. Try to do it in such a way that I do not see the cards, and because I'm a professional, I have another pen. <laughs> so I'll turn around and you can do that in complete freedom. Make it as big as possible and please guard the cards as I turn around. Is it okay if I turn around? It's all right? All right, very good. I'm going to ask, oh, may I have the pen first back? Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to lose them. I'll ask you to put the card back wherever you want. May I have the pen as well? Oh, you didn't close it yet. Don't worry about it. We'll close. And would you put your, your card back? Already did. Already did? Mm -hmm. That's very fast. Um, <laughs> do you mind if I observe? All right, yeah, 21st, maybe. Uh, Walter, would you be kind enough to, to hold the deck? This is important. Usually, there's a lot of pick a card tricks, right? But what really stands out, what I want to do, is a pick a card trick that's as fair as possible. You got to choose the cards you wanted to, you sign them, you put them back, whether I was ready or not. <laughs> and here's the thing, I did see where you put your card. So go ahead and just shuffle. Yeah, just give them a mix because, you might as well because I have no idea about stasis. You're happy with that? Yes. May I borrow the deck just for a moment? I'll try to get Walter your card first, because I saw where you put it in. Uh, <clears throat> let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Flies away from the deck. Nothing in the hands. Feel, feel, nothing, nothing. And when I go into my back, excuse me, the other back pocket, I have one card here and one card only. Walter, is this your card? It is. It is. Good. But here's the real challenge of this routine. Magicians are never supposed to repeat their tricks. And I know, Stacy, you're looking carefully. So the second one is always a bit more trickier. I'll try. Oy. What can I say? I'm a, I'm a child at heart. Your card has disappeared from the deck. It's no longer in the deck. No longer. Gone. It just doesn't go into the same pocket. Like a good pickpocket, I don't hide the loot in the same pocket. Can you feel something here? No. Yes. You can? Good. Can you please open the button? Okay. Can you put two fingers inside? Well, once you get the button open and confirm, is there one card there? Yes. And tell us, is this your card, yes or no? And if it is, yes, show. Yes, that's my card. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Stacy and Walter. But in reality, this could be done uh, 
if it were done with sleight of hand and, and cleverly so, it's possible. But what you just saw never happened. Like a mirage, you've been witnessing something that isn't real. It just seemed like it. Walter, your card could never have come from my back pocket. Do you know why? Why? Because I do not have a back pocket. <laughs> and you can feel it if you want. It's okay. <laughs> not, but. Of course, Stacy, your card can never have come from my breast pocket simply because I do not have a breast pocket either. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Walter. Thank you so much, Stacey. Thank you. Christian Engel! That was incredible! Thank you. Thank you. I was told you have a nickname in Finland. Is that correct? Oh, yes. Yeah. The Big Finnish. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So tell me about the trick you just did. Um, where was that inspiration from? Wow, this trick started off as a trick with a bill, a note, and making the bill switch or change in front of the audience. And from that trick, it morphed into another trick, into a third, into a fourth, into a fifth, until you see the end result. And it took somewhere around five years before it went from one trick up to the fifth trick, which is what you see now. Wow. So it's a card trick. That's fantastic. <laughs> They look confused. So oh, no, no. no. These two gentlemen are never confused. As long as I've known them, they are very, very savvy. So, so do you think you'll fool them now? I hope I surprise them. And I would be very happy with that. Mm. Uh, to fool someone, uh, that's a question for the gods. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if the guys have a solution to how you did that. Boys. Okay, Christian, here we go. All right, Ben. Uh, <laughs> we saw a lot of stuff you did. Saw a lot of stuff you did, you know? When you turned around and showed your ass and <laughs> asked My if, you could, side. if you wanted to feel your ass, and it might have looked a little dirty to other people, but we knew it was covering other dirty work. We knew that the choreography, we didn't believe for a second that you forgot to have her put the card in with the pen and she put it in exactly when you wanted her to put the card back. You weren't, you weren't thrown off by that at all. We saw... You uh, cop the cards. We saw you palm it. We had you busted all the way through. We just don't know how you found the cards. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We had a uh, lot that of mean? good ideas of where you, you... There was a lot of places you could have gotten a location of the card, moved it to the top or the bottom. It, Except that all the great ideas we had for how you would have done that but if you was, don't not know, the way you, was not the way you did it, which is what I'm no getting to, Allison. <laughs> Shut up. He fooled us. Thank you.